Hello everyone, welcome back to another Don Machi Memoria Freeze video. My name is D Free, and for this one, we're gonna go ahead and try, hear me try, <laughs> to pull uh, some of the new units that just went live. Now, there are a few banners that are available. Uh, just quick little tip, if you have Anya here, of course, you don't really, she's really good with limit breaks, but of course, uh, you can probably wait for that, you know, get her over time. Uh, and if you're trying to decide if you should even bother pulling on this, uh, if you want to get a good physical attack type, she's really good. Uh, her special arts is only single target, though, but it does a lot of damage. So, kind of up to you in that regard. If you have other physical attack types, you know, like Argonaut Bell, like the Ice that was just here but is no longer available, the Sparkle Princess, I believe. Uh, if you have uh, Il Tarl, things of that nature, then you probably don't need her, but she's really good nonetheless. So, they have a few other banners that are live. We have one with Chigusa, Freya, and Oka. And then we have another one with Chigusa, Freya, and Otaro right here. So, when it comes down to these two banners, it's basically Otaro versus Oka. And the thing about Oka is that he's actually a defense type. He's basically a tank. He has really, really high endurance and HP. Uh, that being said, I have heard that he actually hits really, really hard. Let's go ahead and check out his gacha details. Uh, the status for this unit. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be right here. Cool. So whenever it comes down to Oka, like I said, defense type, very, very high endurance HP stats as well. Uh, the cool thing about him is he reduces the penetration rate by 45%. So you're not gonna take that penetration damage. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, he also does an ultra physical attack, which I believe is the highest modifier ultra. So he's he's very powerful to be honest and then spear of absolute bravery is actually very interesting because It's indexed to his HP now It doesn't say max HP or whatever But it pulls from the HP stat this unit has and he has again a really really high HP stat If you look at a unit like Chugusa who we'll talk about in a moment in comparison She has you know 2500 basically he's got 3200 uh, So he's going to be hitting really hard and then he also has a really high strength stat as well So a very very good unit here Anyways, let's move on to his fair and square. Covers allies from single attack and one turn and HP heal plus 20%. Really, really good. He's able to heal himself. It says self there. I'm assuming that's for himself. <laughs> but he also is able to protect the allies from a hit. So if you have a position where, you know, your mage is going to go down, he's able to protect them. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. It reminds me of, uh, if that is in fact how that works, I have to do some playtesting. It reminds me a lot of, uh, you know, the Warrior of Light, you know, in Fire, uh, Final Fantasy. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, do or die resistance, allies, fast endurance plus 20% for four turns. That one's solid if you need it. So that's just kind of my thing in terms of him. Uh, and Otaro, he's, Otaro's actually really interesting because he's a, uh, a damage dealer, but a debuff bot. So he does a lot of different things. So if we come down to his, uh, you know, stats and stuff down here. Ultra physical attack with a temporary strength boost. That helps him out. Look at how high his strength is. It's already at 1,300. So you can imagine he's going to be hitting really hard. Uh, edge of moment, mid physical attack. You see that his other attacks got scaled down. This one is also AoE, as, along with uh, the Fangs of Apocalypse. Those are both AoE attacks. In fact, everyone except for Mighty uh, Power Slash is an AoE. So that's very, very helpful in terms of like, you know, PvP or multi-bosses or things like that. Uh, Mid-physical attack with a temporary strength boost and endurance minus 15% for two turns. Uh, so he's able to inflict endurance minus 15%. So that's pretty cool. He also gets the strength boost. And I have heard that those strength boosts do go ahead and stack on these characters when they have stuff like that. Anyways, mid-physical attack with another temporary strength boost and 15% slow. Very helpful. Alongside 30% stun on the next one. <laughs> so you kind of just pick what you want. Status, ailment, debuff, whatever. Uh, and that's kind of what it comes down to. Uh, so for me, honestly, I want another tank. So we're going to start off here with Oka. Uh, and we'll kind of go from there. So I do want to kind of talk about not too much in detail. But if you get Chigusa, for example, don't be upset. Because Chigusa is actually really, really good. Uh, these are her stats. Ultra Thunder magical damage, for starters. She also is a buff bot. She does... Uh, high physical damage with her normal attack and then on top of that she has a low heal which helps it, it helps right she's able to heal you don't have to run a traditional healer unless you're taking on maybe pvp you would want that but she can be a cool secondary healer uh and then she also gives allies 35 percent for four turns strength boost <laughs> that's pretty awesome that is awesome that is really good in comparison with otara for example <laughs> so she's gonna be very very helpful um 
Also, her uh, first attack is able to do a 30% charm. That's actually really good, too. The only thing I don't know about this character is if she's better as a mage or a physical unit because she kind of does both. <laughs> she's one of those units that does both because she's a balance type. I'm assuming that those two stats, as the name implies, would be balanced out. Kind of reminds me of uh, Bathroom Eyes. She can kind of do both, I believe. Uh, so... On top of that, for Oka, I wanted to come back to him really quick. His special is AoE, but his other ones aren't. So, keep that in mind. Otaro is going to be the one basically doing a lot of damage, but Oka is really, really good. So, we're going to start here. Guaranteed three star. Oh, we got a rainbow door. So, that means we're going to get something. So, this one is step up. I'll go back to that, but it's not step up in the way that the last banner was. The last banner... Might have been too generous because it sets a weird precedent for, like, what could come in the future. But apparently it wasn't, you know, <laughs> at least for this banner, exactly what was going to happen. Nonetheless, this is still a really good banner, though. Uh, if you were wondering, like, should you pull on it? I mean, I can't really tell you yes or no because I'm not super entrenched in the JP scene. So I don't know exactly what is coming. Uh, but, you know. Go ahead and do some pulls. Uh, try to get Chigusa. She's really good. Try to get... I didn't even cover Freya. I actually totally forgot about that because I looked at the timer and it's getting long in the video. Uh, try to get the units if you can. But not. don't go too deep. You know, don't don't go too deep. Especially if you're free to play. Uh, Gareth. Or Gareth, excuse me. Sword Princess Ice. And here's my four star, maybe. No way! I don't know what this is. This is a three star, though. Okay, who is it, though? Oh, well, okay. I haven't gotten that unit in a long time. Okay, cool. Four star. Which is it? You naughty boy. You weren't. Oof. Is that. Is that Freya? Is that Freya? Yes! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I've been naughty, baby. All right, cool. We got Freya off the bat in the nightgown. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. First pull. You know what? I was planning on doing this. Uh, this one requires paid iris. I really hope that if I do this, I get Otaro. We're going to do this next because I don't want to. <sighs> I don't mind getting a bond for Freya, but like, come on now. So really quick, she is uh, she's really good as a support unit. I mean, that's all she really is. She's an assist. Uh, she's able to give status ailment resistances. Now, the only reason this would be kind of subpar is because in the weapon craft, there are actually a lot of weapons that are really good at things like this. Otherwise, she's really good. So let's go ahead and do our guaranteed pull here. This one does require paid uh, Iris as well. And I assume just like any other guaranteed pull, that you can't actually walk away with more than one because the last unit you pull would be your guarantee. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Mamma Mia. Okay, gold. Oh, I didn't go again. I'm lucky I got to meet someone like you. Why is someone the only one that's not emph emphasized there? Oh, this Hestia. I haven't pulled this Hestia in a really long time. Or not. That's the only one I didn't have, actually. Or, like, the only, like, three-star one I didn't have, I think. I was looking at it in the status. Like, not status. The uh, character list, which is why I thought I had it. Don't at me about it. Uh, oh, Asfi. I love Asfi. Come on. Go again. Go again. Ah, oh, man. Tempesto. So this is going to be Bay Ice here, of course. The three-star Ice. She's pretty cool. She's one of the better three-stars. I just, you know, eventually we'll probably work on her because I'm sure I'll have enough bonds eventually to max limit break her. It's more or less having the hero fall enough for it. So, <laughs> and then Finn. I wish I could get a four-star Finn just for collection. And we got the two-star Bell. And if you didn't know, you can sell these bonds. So here's a four-star. Ah, oh, I knew this would happen. I freaking knew it would happen. <laughs> uh, but I ain't upset about seeing this animation twice. <laughs> I freaking knew it would happen. At least I got that new Hestia, too. Um, I think she was a uh, resistance type unit. Strength pl plus 20. Oof. Oof. That is really high. All right. Well, that one's gone. It's a one-time thing. Also, these ones are guaranteed. Uh, well, not guaranteed. Excuse me. They're a discount. So this is what I was saying I would look at. So what happens here? Step one, 200. Step two, 250. Step three, 300. Step four, 350. Step five is 500. And you are guaranteed every five pulls, I believe, every five. 
you know, to get one of these units. So that means basically don't go too too deep on this because you will be messing around and doing like 20 pulls if you want to guarantee yourself like limit breaks and stuff like that. It's a it's more spread out in in place of the previous banner because it's discounted as well. So yeah, just that's why I'm saying like you know, <laughs> don't go too heavy on this banner. Uh, Ganesha. That being said, I might you know go until I get everyone, but don't follow my lead. I got, I got, I got my stuff in line. I got, you know, <laughs> money to spend sometimes, so it's cool. Also, there's still a lot of iris to farm for me. Uh, Yamamoto, Mikoto. All right, and we got Tion. Titties. All right, so can I please get something? I feel like I'm not gonna get anything. I should have saved that other pull for like last. I feel like that one just messed up the RNG for me. Can I at least get a new unit? Can I? Can I please? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, the game's just going to give me a bunch of two stars. but And my one guaranteed three star. Oh, hey, Hestia. Here's my guaranteed three star. No one gets to play with him besides me. Oh, is that Hestia? Oh, Freya. I didn't have this one. That's pretty cool. I'm pulling all the Freyas today. <laughs> what does this assist do? Magic plus 20%. Oof. She's basically the equivalent to that Hestia we just pulled. Those are both really good pulls. All right, so this one's going to cost 300 Iris for this pull. By the way, guys, if you have made it to this point of the video, I appreciate you guys for the support and for being here. Make sure you do leave a thumbs up on the video to show additional support. Because not only for me, but it helps the video get out to a wider audience. And I want to try to really get more people uh, into this game. You know, get more people for you guys to interact with as well and all that other stuff. So, anyways, we got a Lily and then we got the, the what's his face? Uh, the, the, the weaponsmith, right? The craftsman. I don't know. The blacksmith. There we go. Uh, speaking of which, you can actually build that sword, Isis' sword, in the uh, weapon creation now. So, that's something I'm going to do a video on probably tomorrow. I don't, I don't know, but sometime soon. Um, there are a lot of weapons you can build. Oh, this is another pull like that, huh? You're going to do it again? Are you seriously going to do it again? You did it again. Twice in a row. Uh, I'm going to have his back. Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks. Who is this? Oh, Hesty. I didn't have... The I did have that one. Never mind. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, this one is going to cost 350 So this is actually pull number four. So the next one will be guaranteed. So if I get the shaft here, I really hope I don't. So I can get two four stars, you know, in two pulls. Uh, but if I get the shaft here... At the very least, next one will be guarantee something. So, And then we won't see guarantee again until number 10. <laughs> That's why I said it's, it's actually quite out there. But I think the next one might be discounted after 5. So we'll see. Ganesh! Uh, Gareth. Okay, and then Demeter or Demeter. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Bet Loga. Are you seriously? What is with all these two stars today? Hello? I think I'll take you. You are more beautiful than flowers. That's that's an interesting one. Oh, him. Okay. At least he wasn't the guarantee, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Because um, there should still be a guarantee three at the end. Oh. So this is probably the last one. Little Ruki. Yeah, that was it. So double Gareth. Okay. So this one's guaranteed four star now. Awesome. Finally. It took quite some time, but we are finally here. <laughs> uh, I really want Chigusa, to be honest, so hopefully I get her. Oh, okay. Well, you want to just come back to back for me, huh? <laughs> uh, but I want to, honestly, I want Chigusa and I want Oka and Otaro, so I just don't want to go super deep on these banners, but I might have to to get at least one copy. I don't know, I'm going to grind some Iris and we'll see. Uh, Freya. It's very possible, though, that I come back in my next video with them. I'm just going to put that out there. Because I either grind uh, Iris or I wail hard. So I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so don't be surprised. <laughs> Mikoto. Uh, come on now. Drop two of them for me in this pull. Loki, the luck was there to begin, and it's gone. It's the shaft. The shaft is here. That's the only thing I see now. Nyonya? Are you kidding? <laughs> Screw off. <laughs> Why are you stalking me today? I think this is the guarantee. Oh, this is Oka. Awesome. All right, I'll take it. All right. 
Wheel of Iron. So I got him on the guaranteed pull. Uh, did it drop back down? So it does. That's cool, at least, that it goes back down in uh, in cost. That's pretty cool. Um, it allows you to kind of keep going, but it still costs quite a bit of iris. <laughs> But it lets you go back down and, you know, spend a little bit less, I guess. But that being said, that is it for our pull on Sprouting Devotion. And, you know, basically, <laughs> Brisk as well. <laughs> they're, I'm, they're just kind of tied into the same thing for me. And I'm sorry, Anya. Uh, so that being said, like I said in the beginning, if you pull Chikusa, she's really good as well in relation to uh, some other, you know, units of her ilk. She's really good. And you can pair her up with some other really really good units uh on team with her first and foremost secondly freya is a really good assist character you know not i don't, I don't think she's top tier because i think there are other weapons that kind of can do things like i said that she's able to do but nonetheless that helps you out because it gives you more options and more options are always nice that's the name of the game otaro awesome damage dealer incredibly high str uh and you know when it comes down to oka he's kind of able to do a little bit of both too He's able to be a defensive and an offensive unit, which is one thing I really like about him because I have wealth. Uh, and I don't know if it's just because I never got wealth to like six star. It probably is. But he just couldn't do any damage. Uh, I didn't like his play style, the, the wealth uh, with the black, you know, the blacksmith wealth. Uh, and he's a tank defense type unit as well. I didn't really like his play style, so I don't really use him. But that is it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new for more Don Machi Memoria Freeze. I will catch you all in the next video. Have an awesome day and take it easy.